And a good evening, everyone. Indiana Black Expo's 49th summer celebration is underway downtown. This weekend will be the annual Saving Our Youth charity basketball game. Indy's own Amp Harris continues to be a driving force behind this great event. He stopped by earlier this week to talk more about it. Here's some of our conversation in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. How many years is this for you guys in this event? I actually started it and I think after like year 23, 24, I stopped counting. So I think we're about around 26, wow. year 26 yeah. when I first initially started. Did you have any idea when you started this thing then all those years ago that A, it would keep going this long, but B, it would turn into not just the event that it's become, but the cause that it's become for you guys. Um, actually, you know, I, I stole the idea. I was in Los Angeles with a friend of mine, Pooh Richardson, who used to play with the Indiana Pacers. Yeah. And uh, they had a celebrity game in L.A. And people don't, they have no idea how this thing came to fruition. They had a celebrity game, and it was a high school rivalry game in the inner city. But after the game, it was Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, back in the NWA days. Yeah. So I'm like, wow, this is going to be amazing. It was like 3,000 people in the gym. Once the game was over, it was like 300 people in the gym. <laughs> I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> like, no one stayed. So literally, that's where the brain trust came from. It was like... Imagine if I did this in Indianapolis. When you get a chance to get in front of these kids, and it's not the celebrity part of it, they make a connection because y'all are from the same situation. Y'all yeah. are from that. It's Those normal. kids, that's kind of where the inspiration comes from. Absolutely. And, and the connection seems to be quicker with that. Has that always been the case? Yeah, because you normalize now. I mean, like anybody else, anything in life, if you expose me to anything, I'm either going to gravitate to it or I'm not. Yeah. So it's instant because, again, the celebrities are a magnet. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't take much for the kids to gravitate to what they yearn to be or who they inspire to be like. So if I can get these kids to see a, a, a Reggie Wayne up close, up close a T.Y. Hilton up close, you know, uh, a Miles Turner up close, now they see it and they can achieve it. And so my whole goal, because I, can, I again, I was a product of that environment. My whole goal is to give these kids hope. It's not to say that you're going to be a professional athlete, but if you understand the, the sacrifices that these athletes made, then you understand, oh wow, they came from a single parent home, or they came from a drug infested home, or a low income family. If they could do it, I know I can. So that's the whole purpose of it. That's a great message. Saturday's game starts at 6 at the convention center. The court's in the main expo hall there. There is free admission. So if you're already heading down there, go ahead and check it out. There will be players from the Colts, the Pacers, some music and TV celebrities, and more. Great cause for everyone involved. We wish Aunt Reggie and everybody all the best this weekend.